I went from the starting shortstop at the University of South Carolina to four months later getting cut. And South Carolina was my dream school. And at the time, it was absolutely devastating to me. But now I look back and it's honestly what I attribute all of the success that I've had in my life now. And if this is your first time here, my name is Nick. I run an online consulting company teaching sports coaches how to make money through online training. And so a little bit of credibility. Here's me at the University of South Carolina. You can see right there, I hit a buck 27. No wonder they cut me. And now, this is my business. This is what we've done year to date. That's just this year, about a quarter million dollars. Um, in the first two quarters of the year, it's June 11th, I'll probably pass $250,000 in total cash collected. And so let me put you up right here, give you a little TED talk because I got cut from my dream school. I got cut from the University of South Carolina and my entire life, all I ever cared about was to be a major league baseball player. And I'm sitting here, I turned 27 in two days at the time of this recording, and I'm not playing in the major leagues and there's no way that I will, right? I, I wasn't good enough. But I look back after getting cut from the University of South Carolina, hitting 127, right? Hitting 127. For those of you guys that are baseball fans out there, you know how terrible that is. But it's the best thing that ever happened to me in my entire life because up until that point in my life, I had a very, very, very difficult time taking accountability. I had the mindset that, you know, life just kind of happened to me. And so a little bit of background, you know, around me, I, uh, I actually went to four schools in college. I went to University of Notre Dame my freshman year. Started in right field to start off the year, hit leadoff, went 0 for 4 with four strikeouts, and then played my way out of the lineup there. Pretty much got run out of Notre Dame um, because I was a, a bad teammate and I, I didn't play very well. But every single place that I went, after that I went to San Jacinto College, San Jack, for those of you guys that are baseball fans, you know how good of a baseball program that is. And um, I got in trouble there. I got in a lot of trouble there, I had to sit out two weeks, and somehow I found a way to blame it on other people. And then my junior year, I ended up getting cut from South Carolina after winning the starting job, and so I was incredibly talented as an athlete. However, I had a very, very, very difficult time taking accountability for my life. I thought that I was unlucky. I thought that because I was born on June 13th, Friday the 13th, that I was lucky or unlucky. I thought that I was unlucky because of the date that I was born on, which looking back is such a terrible way to look at the world. But I thought that my life, my destiny was completely out of my control. And so after being a problem with my coaches in high school, being a problem with my coaches at Notre Dame, being a problem at San Jack, being a problem at South Carolina, after just being a problem everywhere I went, I realized at the end of the day, like, this is my fault. And so from that point moving forward, I realized that I have complete control over my life. And it actually not only allowed me to learn from my failures more and stop pointing the finger and actually own up to it, but it allowed me to own my successes as well. Because as soon as I took the belief that I am in control of my life, that I am in control of my own destiny, Therefore, I am responsible for all of my failures. It also allowed me to take ownership for all of my successes, which is something that I had a really, really, really difficult time doing my entire life, right? And now, uh, the only reason I show you my Stripe account, the only reason I'm trying to brag, like, is so that you actually listen to me. The fact that I actually have something of value to say. And so after I got cut from the University of South Carolina my junior year, I vowed to myself that, that would never happen again and that I was going to make a change. And so I went to Southern Illinois University the next year, had a really good year. COVID got the season shut down. I wasn't sure what happened. 2021, Southern Illinois, we won 40 games for the first time in like, I don't know, 20 years. And I set the school home run record with 17 home runs. And it's one of the best things I've ever done in my entire life. However, I am more proud of the fact that when I got cut from South Carolina, I had a light bulb moment. 
and it's allowed me now to this day have so much success in the business world, right? I had a remote training business that did $250,000 in cash in just 10 months. And now I have a consulting company that's done that amount in half the time, right? So what's the point I'm trying to make? After I got cut from South Carolina, it allowed me to start taking accountability for my life, start taking accountability for my actions and see the world as a place where I could create my own reality. And that if I work hard enough and I do the right things and I talk to the right people and I conduct myself the right way, then I too can get whatever it is that I want. And I have nobody to blame but myself when I fail. And so for those of you guys out there who are commenting on my posts and saying, this is a scam and this and that, like, awesome, dude. Keep living your terrible life. Keep putting other people down and saying that, you know, other people can't have success. Like, it just makes life literally easier for me. But for those of you out there who maybe feel like they're unlucky, maybe feel like the world is against them or like their situation is, you know, not serving them. Look, maybe that's true, but that belief will never serve you. The belief that the world is against you or that the rules are set up for you to lose is just you holding yourself back. It's you taking away your power and not recognizing that you can do anything you want in this world. When you realize that ultimately everything is up to you. And if you need to get help in order to get to where you want to be, then get help. I've spent $50,000 on coaches, courses, mentors, masterminds, etc., to get to where I am now. And I'm not done spending money on coaching, on information, on help, because I was way too arrogant when I was a baseball player. I never wanted to get help. I thought everybody else was against me, right? Because they were the ones holding me back. I was pointing the finger externally, but really I was the one holding myself back. I didn't think that I was worthy of success. That's why as soon as I started hitting well at South Carolina, I changed my swing because I didn't think I was good enough, right? I thought success was something that kind of just happened. I didn't realize that you could manufacture it. So if you're sitting there wondering, how can I have success? How can I create something great? The first step is to take accountability and understand that this life is yours to live and that you are in full control of it. And sure, your circumstances might suck. I'm never going to say that they don't. Maybe you didn't have as many advantages as I did. But sitting there and complaining about how you don't have the advantages or why the rules are set up against you is only going to hold you back from taking the action that you need and taking the accountability that it is your life and nobody is coming to save you. So once you realize that nobody is coming to save you, then maybe you can buy Rolex at 26, you can move into a penthouse, you can make a quarter million dollars in six months, maybe you won't, but it's the only way that you can actually do it.